Hello everyone, so today I'm going to do a three month review of my Chanel Classic Flap Small Wallet and I think you guys have probably seen it from my London Paris SLG Purchases review reveal video bah, mouthful anyway, so uh, in case you guys haven't seen it this is the Chanel Classic Flap Small Wallet and it is in black gold hardware and caviar leather and uh, it opens up like this. You can fit your cards inside and you can fit your coins in the back. And here you can put like bills. There's like two, no, one big slot for bills and two uh, tiny slots for whatever you want to put inside. I tend to put sales associate cards and coupons, point systems and whatnot. And you can already see there's like a dead here. I think it's from this like the, the back of the button pressing on to the leather. And uh, one thing that I really, really don't like about this wallet is that if you can see like very, very closely, they have loose threads already and it's only been three months, if you can see. So like right here, there's like some loose thread. So this wallet doesn't wear very well, I would say. So that's why I got a new similar wallet because this wallet just doesn't wear very well. And of course it's like gorgeous and everything, but the wallet really doesn't wear very well. And in the back, I don't even know how this happened, but I think, I think this part is damaged already. Like right here. I don't even know how it happened, but yeah. This wallet doesn't wear very well. I think I'm just going to, uh, leave it at home because I don't I don't want to carry something that worries me I want a wallet to be with me for a really really long time and how this wallet wears it's really really disappointing yeah okay I think that might be dirt but the loose threads are pretty bad so that's a little I guess uh, review of my Chanel Classic Flap small wallet. The design, I would say it's okay practical because it does have a coin department and uh, it does allow you to put in bills, but sometimes I feel like this pocket is too deep, so sometimes bills get crumbled in it. I'm not sure if it's just a design or anything. And uh, for this wallet, you have to close it completely or else if you leave it open, you might end up with some mark on the inside because this button does puncture the inside if you just leave it open. And these pockets are pretty nice. They are not too tight when you use them and they don't get too loose after three months. So I would say these pockets are okay. I feel like the bills compartment is way too deep as you can see, like the bills, can go really, really inside and it's hard for me to reach bills. Sometimes I feel like it would be better if it's less deep, maybe more uh, narrow over here so the bills don't get stuck so deep inside. And also the coin compartment, it can be difficult looking at what coins you have. That's why I got the Bastia because for the Bastia you can shake it up and look at the coins you have. For this one, it's actually really difficult. It's like super tight inside. But yes, this is a really pretty wallet and pretty compact. You don't really have to worry about it not fitting in uh, your smaller bags. This fits in my Easy Flap, Chanel Easy Flap. Uh, it fits pretty much in all my small bags and yeah, I would say it's pretty compact. It is a little thick though, especially if you have a lot of money inside, a lot of bills inside and sometimes it can be hard to close this entirely. Overall, I would say this is worth it if you bought it outside of the US but if you buy it from the US I would say in my opinion it's slightly overpriced especially looking at the wear and tear of this wallet after three months I would say it's definitely worse than expected I wanted this wallet to last me many many years I think I'm going to retire this wallet because it's not wearing very well and I hope this video helped you guys thank you so much for watching please feel free to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so see you guys next time bye